Hello everybody and welcome to my 15th advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use array formulas to sum up values. Um, so essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to account, uh, show you how many sales there are in each city um, and in each month. Um, so this is very similar to how you would do a count. Um, the only thing you have to do is just make sure you multiply the array afterwards um, by the sales. So let's put in our array formula for if we were counting. Um, so equals sum open bracket, uh, open bracket again, and then a2 to a14, uh, add our dollar sign so that when we drag it across it stays the same equals and then we want it to equal the month um, and we want it to always be row 2 because if, when we drag it down uh, close bracket and then same as with count you have times for if you want to do an and or a plus if you want to do an or uh, and then our second criteria which is the B column, um, city column, um, and that equals the, needs to equal the city, um, and we always want the E to stay the same because it's always in column E, and close that off. So that's how we do a count, um, but then we want this to be a sum. Um, so it's quite simple. All you do is add another times on there, um, always a times, never a plus, um, and then just put the array um, of where you're actually wanting to sum up. So I wanted to sum up sales. Um, so I put that in there and then close that off. Control Shift and Enter. And then that has done it. So this is going to sum up for you um, all the, the values that have um, and I haven't put my dollar signs in properly, so I'll fix that in a second. But if I just explain this one, um, it's going to, for all of the months when they equal January, uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's going to look at just those 5, uh, and then when it also equals London, so it's only going to look at these three and it's going to add those together. So we've got 250 plus 150, which is 400, and another 100, which is 500. Um, and then the other thing is just remember to put your um, dollar signs in um, and control shift and enter to finish the array formula. And then when we drag this across, it's adding it up nicely. Um, and same as before, um, you can use the as many criteria as you want. Um, so we could put in another criteria, so it would be equals London or New Delhi uh, or New York. Um, the other thing you can do is you can put in a doesn't equal. Um, and so this is basically saying for each month how many sales were there that weren't in London, how many that weren't in New York, how many that weren't in New Delhi, um, which I guess is essentially just uh, is summing up the ones for non-London as such. So that's quite a useful one um, if you want to just sum up without having one criteria, so you want to have say the second half of the year um, or something like that. Um, and then that is it for array formulas. Um, you might have a lot of questions um, because they are quite complicated. Um, I myself have to use a reference book where most of the time when I use them um, because they are quite hard to remember. But if as long as you remember the basics of um, each criteria goes in a bracket, you have your array, and then web what the what it equals or what it doesn't equal um, and then each of your brackets is separated by a times for and and a plus for or 
uh, and then if you want to do a sum then you just times it at the end by the array within which you contain the numbers that you want to sum um, so that's it thank you for listening um, and I hope to catch you in my next tutorials um, which will be uh, around the how to use Microsoft Access um, so thanks for listening and if you enjoyed these tutorials please 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 subscribe